unpack with you at NASCAR.com. The advent of electronic fuel injection, or EFI, is a brave new world for NASCAR, giving teams an exciting way to assess their on-track performance like never before. Before EFI was introduced, teams used carbureted engines. The EFI introduced additional sensors and computing capability to allow cylinder-to-cylinder -cylinder tuning and to tune for various things automatically. When NASCAR decided to integrate electronic fuel injection into the Sprint Cup cars, we partnered with McLaren, who developed our ECU. The ECU allowed the engine builders to get more performance out of their engines and also increase fuel efficiency. The ECUs also provide data for the at-track tuners to help them optimize the engine at, on a race weekend. After a practice session, a driver is able to communicate his feel of the car to the team engineers, and using actual data, team engineers can help identify problems, uh, such as a stumble in a certain RPM range or in a corner, and then they're able to go into the ECU parameters and adjust the fuel mapping to compensate so that the driver has a better feel for the car during the lap. How much a driver's on the gas, how they time their shifts, and how the engine and transmission are set up can all affect how the car performs. Data interpretation lets the teams know where they can get better. The lessons learned lead to innovations and setups that apply directly to performance gains on the track. The ECU, or engine control unit, was designed by McLaren. They're the official partner of NASCAR on this project, and all competitors must use the same component. The ECU allows the competitor over 1,000 channels to tune on and also allows close to 200 to be logged and monitored. McLaren maintains a mobile presence in the garage each weekend, which gives the race teams all the support they need. Not only does EFI keep NASCAR on the cutting edge of technology and competition, but the sport's commitment to staying green shows through with increased fuel efficiency and lower emission levels. For more on automotive technology, keep it right here at NASCAR.com.